Welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. In this video, we're going to be having a look at our built new music server, our PC, dedicated audio PC, music digital transport server that obviously we've built over here. And just to explain what that is, that's basically an all-encompassing music server and streamer, really. Obviously, we can stream music from Tidal and Cobars and any of those services, which we don't actually do. Actually, all our music is stored locally. On, a, on an SSD. So this is a dedicated and, and custom built computer that obviously I've put together personally using lots of really good quality products from JCAT and a few other companies and lots of operating system optimizations like Fidelizer, Audio File Optimizer and obviously JPlay being at the heart and core obviously of this computer. So we started this build maybe a couple of weeks ago and did a video where we got all the parts together and stuff, which obviously I'll link up here. But don't panic, there's been a lot of people that wanted me to go through it in detail about what I've done. Now, obviously I can't teach people how to build a computer, but if you understand how to build a computer, the videos that I'll create will give you just some insight of what, what I've put inside this PC. Some of the bits, unfortunately, you can't get anymore, but there are others and equivalents that you can get. And it'll just give you some idea of how this uh, PC chassis works. It's absolutely fantastic the way the CPU cooler works and integrates through the chassis. The way the chassis gives you sort of customization options and, and kind of growth options. By growth, I just mean you can add additional pieces in there. Obviously, it can take a video card and stuff like that, which we're not using. But all those details will be in the build that will be coming after this. But I figured, what is the point of creating videos for people how to do something if they're not impressed by what it does in the first place? So... We're going to start with a song demonstration and I'll do two more with the system as it is because I haven't changed anything barring one thing since the last time you was here where I did the AB comparisons, the battle between the Telerium Q Black 1 and Black 2 speaker cables. Now, for a product of this quality, the sound quality we're getting from this now is at such a high level that I've actually put in these bad boys here. I don't know if you can see them down on the floor there. That is the Telerium Q Black Diamond speaker cables now I mentioned we had them in a video you know a couple ago and I've been using them quite a lot and I've been listening to them quite a lot but I wasn't totally happy with the sound that I was getting but I didn't blame the speaker cables I personally felt the speaker cables were just giving me more of what's right about the system and actually more of what's wrong with it and unfortunately there's quite a bit well there was quite a bit wrong with it which we've now ironed out pretty much everything now not everything obviously when if it's nothing's ever perfect but we've ironed out a lot of the problems and the sound quality we're getting now with these speaker cables in is well, you'll hear it soon. Now, there's a few other pieces to go in the jigsaw puzzle, which I want to get in there before we do anything actually on the Black Diamond. But I'll do more on that in a minute. Before we get into too much detail, I'll talk some more in a bit. Just listen to this song, and it'll give you some insight into what this has done to the system. But before I move on, I need to point something out. This is really, really important. We've updated and improved our recording rig. We're now using different microphones made by the same company as the ones we was using before was having a few issues with their microphones where we was getting some feedback and some noise and stuff and it just so happened that they released a brand new version of the same thing now these have got a much flatter frequency response to a much lower frequency so we now get pretty much flat frequency response right down to 20 hertz up to about 20 kilohertz which is about as perfect as it can get for recording you know, an audio system, we're gonna get full dynamic range now in our recordings, but it goes even further than that. We've actually bought the highest quality premium microphone cables that we could find. So we're even using upgraded microphone cables and that makes a really big difference. I've done before and after, makes a really big difference. And even so, even better, we're now using a studio grade recorder to do our recordings, which is gonna give us some options to do some high res recordings and stuff in the future. But I'm not doing that at the moment. Everything's still the same. We're still recording at the same settings that we would normally. We're just using new microphones, which are really just an improved version of what we was already using and say better frequency response and a flatter frequency response, much better microphone cables and studio quality recorder, which has got really high quality A to D conversion in it. Uh, dual, yeah, it's got dual core chips for that and stuff like that. So the sound quality from here is gonna get much better. And what's better and even better about that still is that this rig is, well, it's, it's gonna be semi-portable. So I'll be able to take these exact microphones and probably this recorder 
out with me now when I go to visits and when I go to do the shows and stuff. So we're going to have much better parity between the sound quality you hear in, in this room with the different products that we review and the shows that we go and see and all the show visits that we go and do and stuff. So that sound quality is going to stay the same now for everything that we do. And I think that's a major step forward for the channel. And it means when you hear the systems at the shows and stuff, you get a true representation to what those sound like compared to this across the whole you know, all the recordings that we do across the whole channel. So that's been a considerable financial investment from us, but it's going to make the channel better for you lot going forward. And as I said to you, we're all about improving it all the time, which is why we're trying to get more people to become Patreons or patrons to the channel, support, you know, $1 or £1 a month, and that just gives us more budget to make things even better for you going forward. So enough talk, have a listen to this, and I'll be back at the end to talk about some, oh, I've got some gems to talk about. Speak to you soon. finishing didn't realize that was finishing right then so yeah 
<laughs> fingers crossed, obviously, for the recording quality of that one, because that's the first time using our new equipment, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to come out good. And the reason why I use that track, it's off the Christine and Queen's album, but it's a different track you know, we always use. Well, I've been using the same two for ages, but that's really powerful. It's got a ton of bass. That's going to be a great track to test, obviously, the dynamic range of the new microphones and the new setup and stuff. And also, it's just, it's just a big, bold sound with some lovely big mid-range and stuff in there. So... Don't panic, I've got a couple of other tracks coming just to demonstrate the system as it is. But before we get into that, I just want to put these boxes down because they're massive. But basically with the system as it is, and let's start with this one, to test out the Black Diamond speaker cables, I felt it was it was important to get as much Telerium Q cabling in the system as possible. Because when you're, when you're testing a speaker cable of that quality, the Black Diamond, which is a reference quality speaker cable, it, it, it is an exceptional speaker cable important to get everything right now we're using ultra black balance cables between the luxman pre and power combination really happy with them and obviously we've got the speaker cables but the link between the computer and the cord cutest stack is actually a nordice blue heaven which i've actually been really really impressed with but i've been more impressed with the telerium q cables i'm so impressed in fact with the black two speaker cables and i i personally don't actually have a reference quality digital cable, uh, an SP diff cable with BNC connections to link to our cord cutest. So in, in talks with Telerium Q and obviously speaking to Nintronics who are obviously fantastic dealers, they have managed to get me one of these, which is actually a Telerium Q silver diamond SP diff balanced digital cable. So one down from the very top of the range, their statement range, but by all accounts, speaking to Telerium Q, they feel that silver diamond will be or the silver range of, of cables will be more to my taste than the blacks, which is a real interesting one. So I'll be putting this in the system, and once it's running, we'll come back and do some more sound demonstrations. We'll see how things are, and I'll report back on what this has brought to the system by comparison to the Nordoist Blue Heaven, because changing one digital cable for another, obviously some people will think it makes no difference. So it'll be interesting. This is an ultra premium one. It'll be interested to see what that is. But I think actually more important for me, is at the moment because we're running a pre and power combination which i don't normally do i've actually run out of high quality power cables i normally use xlo power cables the signature freeze i've got multiples of them uh but because we've got extra boxes in the system now i'm actually using a freebie black power cable the one that comes free with most of your kit and to be honest since i've been using that i haven't slept i've been sweating and i've been really upset and i haven't been able to sleep and i haven't been able to eat well, that's a lie, but I haven't been able to sleep because I know it's, it's, it's doing the system no justice. It's, it's holding it back. And I've tried moving it from, the cheapy from one linear power supply to another linear power supply. And you gain something and you lose something. It's like, ah. Oh. So I had a chat with my pals down at Nintronics and they've hooked me up with this. This is an Audio Quest Thunder power cable, which obviously I'm going to replace a freebie one with and put that in the system. Now, if you remember back to a couple of months ago when I had all the Audio Quest products here, I had the Niagara 7000, which was getting powered from one of these, and I was massively impressed with it. Really, really impressed. So this has got to go in the system as well, and I'm confident that's going to elevate things. But I'll be honest, even with those, we're still going to get a big improvement. I've only been running these new products in the system for three days. Obviously, the new JCAT products, the JCAT Net Femto, card which is a dedicated network card we've got a brand new power supply linear power supply that powers the computer and the net femto card that's the jcat 400 watt linear power supply and we're also running a new cable a new serial ata the jcat reference serial ata cable inside which by all accounts takes a good few days to get going and i've heard improvements throughout the throughout the time i've been listening and say it's been on about three and a half maybe four days at first the sound was just ultra clean and ultra lean. And it, it, to be honest, it was a quite a big adjustment. It was like, oh, I'm not sure if I like this. But as days have gone on, the sound's filled out and filled out. Now we're getting a much, much, much lower noise floor than we was getting before. And there's so much more clarity in the sound. And it's a bigger, more dynamic sound, but also more relaxed and easy to listen to at the same time. It's like, wow, you're getting a kind of mixture of everything. In fact, it's so relaxed, I kind of got to get my head around it again. It's, it really has made a big, big difference. But, you know, it, it's certainly, certainly much, much better. This new server, it's, every time I'm upgrading it and putting extra JCAT products in there and following advice coming from that stable, it, it, the system sounds less and less like you're listening to digital, less and less like you're listening to a computer, and just more like you're listening to a, a high-end 
source, a high-end digital source. And, and we've got to bear in mind, it is, it is just the computer. It's, it's, you know, we're using computer parts in here with obviously a lot of custom bits and stuff added to a computer, but it's just an Asus motherboard. It's just an SSD drive, even though we're not using normal ones. That, that is really what we're getting. And yet, we're getting a phenomenal sound. So phenomenal sound is what we're gonna come back and talk about in the next video. To keep this one short, I'll just remind you on the system that you're listening to in the next video, and then we'll do one more just for a big variety of music so people don't, you know, get to hear something different for how the system is. Then we're gonna be putting in, as I say, the Telerium Q Silver Diamond digital cable. I want that in so bad, because I know that's gonna take a while to sound good, and the power cable. That's all going in, and then we'll come back and assess. But in in the meantime, all the videos that I've created, or of, of all the videos that I've filmed, sorry, for the build, I'll be filling the gap to the time in with those, so you get to see those, and some Munich videos. And just before I forget, I posted up a four-part series for a visit to Henley Audio, which are a UK distributor for some really interesting brands like Klipsch, Autophon cartridges, project turntables, and, it, and I've made it as a four-part series. Now, the, the second two parts, or the, the third and the fourth part, I've got song demonstrations for a system there with big clips, speakers like some uh, Cornwall Freeze with like a, like a, a horn type speaker, and some big Opera 8,000 pound Opera speakers. Now, I know people are gonna wanna skip straight to them, but if you skip straight to those videos, you're gonna kind of miss the story, and it, it's not a story, it's just the videos are, are developed, it's designed to be watched as a series. So please start a part one, because by the time you get to the end of part four, everything will make much more sense. And I think you'll get much more out of the videos once you understand about the brands and stuff. It will all make much more sense. If you skip straight to the end, you're gonna miss out really important information. I put a lot of work into those videos. They've come out really fantastic. I'm really happy with those. So yeah, please go and watch them. Hope you enjoy them. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.